Hey y'all, welcome back to the DG Outdoors channel, guys. In today's video, I have an air gun comparison video for you guys. Guys, today we're going to compare the Daisy Red Rider with the Daisy Model 1999. Okay, these are pretty similar air rifles. Okay, this is what the Model 1999 looks like. Custom painted by Maymay98 herself, since this is her air rifle. So, so guys, let's get into the compare. Yeah, let's get into the comparison here and have some fun, guys. So stay tuned. All right, y'all. So I have a list of specs because you guys like the spec part of these videos. So let's start with the Red Rider. So, the Daisy Red Rider has been around since 1938, okay? And it is considered the 1938B model, okay? 0.177 caliber, BB only, it has a full wood stock, okay? They even have an adult version of this air rifle, okay? And the adult version actually has a longer stock by about two inches and this one does okay um it has a smooth bore barrel okay max shooting distance of 195 yards i don't know who would be shooting this at 195 yards okay iron sights that are adjustable okay front and rear sights you can adjust this for elevation but not windage the front blade sight is fixed okay um length is 13.75 inches all together okay and a cross bolt block safety right here cross bolt block safety now this is a lever action um spring powered air rifle so you pull this to the clicking stops and a BB falls down in and right now I have copperhead BBs in here okay and then it's ready to fire all right so now guys let's take a look at the Daisy model 1999 pink okay guys so the Daisy model 1999 pink obviously came out in 1999 okay 0.177 caliber bb only air rifle okay 350 feet a second okay um all weather synthetic stock so unlike the red rider this has a plastic stock you can also get this in camouflage for the boys or they have a bullseye version which is black and red okay there you go here's a look at both sides also Max shooting distance of 195 yards, like I said before. Smoothbore barrel length 35.4 inches. Okay. And fiber optic front sight, sorry, which the Red Rider does not have. And this has a cross bolt safety. Now, the difference between these guns are the handles. Okay. It has a bigger handle, which actually makes for ease of cocking a lot better. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much the differences here. The fiber optic sights, it's pretty much the same exact gun, it just has a different stock and a different handle on it, guys. So let's get to shooting these guns. And just have some fun i do not have my gopro out here with me but i'll show you guys the target range from where i'm shooting at here on the porch i built a little secondary target range so we can shoot bb guns off the porch and me and may 98 actually did that last night so guys let's get into it all right y'all so here's the target range um, I just picked up those Duracell targets today, but I will not be shooting at them with the BB gun. I have a Crow, and I have the other spinning one. I have a Squirrel, which is a Crossman Squirrel resetting target, 
and I have the little crossman spinning target guys so that we'll be shooting out the metal targets all right y'all so the first shot here is the daisy red rider now these shoot 0.177 caliber bbs only I have crossman copperheads in there right now here's the viewing port so you can see if a bb is in the chamber or not okay and here is the first shot that I'm taking with it Tink, hit it. I love this gun. It's so much fun to shoot. Okay. Missed that shot. Um, where to put the BBs, if you guys don't know. There's a door right here. Okay, that you push in at the top. This little door right here. And it, um, it the BBs go in there. It, it can hold up to 650 BBs in this reservoir. Okay. So you get a lot of shots. Normally this would have a leather thong on it, but I took the leather strap off because it kept getting in the way of the cocking hammer. Yes. Sometimes you gotta shake these really, really well. Sometimes. I keep missing, guys. Missed again. Oh, I keep like jerking the gun. So this has a spring inside. When you cock this lever right here, it reduces the spring down inside here. Missed again. Let me try aiming a little bit lower. This is gonna be my last shot with this gun. Yay, I hit it. Awesome. Let's switch over to the Model 1999. Alright y'all, so now I have the Daisy Model 1999. The one thing I really like about this is, of course, the bigger handle here to cock it with. Um, it does have a fiber optic sight, which makes it easier to aim at the target. I can get a fiber optic sight for this, and I might do that, and I might actually order the adult... Um, butt stock, but the adult butt stock right now on Amazon is like $34 and I haven't fully convinced myself that I want to get it. Ding! Oh, I missed. Sometimes these things do misfire. I'm not sure why, but they do. And it's just fun. Hours of plinking. So much fun. I went for the little one in the center there and I missed it. But yeah. Ding! These are basically the same exact gun. If you want to go look for, you know, the nostalgia of a Red Rider then get a red rider with the wood stock or get the adult red rider you know the all-weather stock is great but these guns they're not really hunting guns you're pretty much out in the yard plinking at cans and stuff and just having fun with them hours and hours of fun and what does she have in here she's got daisy um, zinc plated BBs and I have over like 8,000 BBs in the house so I'm not gonna run out of them ba -ding, ba -ding. just having fun alright guys let's do one more round with each gun and then we'll uh, end the video round two with red rider here I don't know which gun I'm better with I think the red dot sight am I better with but miss that's all right missed again let's go for the squirrel this time I 
keep missing. Ding! Hit that one. Missed it. Last shot, guys. Missed again. Oh, well. I can't get enough of these little BB guns to get out for hours on end and just shoot and have fun. It's a blast. It's a blast. Last round with the... Uh, Daisy Model 1999. I'm definitely more accurate with the Model 1999. I think it has a lot to do with the fiber optic sight. I don't know if I hit or miss that one. Oh yeah, I'm definitely more accurate. Again, I think the bigger um, lever is a plus, um, and the fiber optic sight definitely helps you pick up the target the best. But when I bought this three years ago, I always wanted a Red Rider, and that's why I picked it up. So guys, it's just been an um, air gun comparison video between the uh, Daisy Red Rider and the daisy model 1999 pink so i hope you all enjoyed this little video remember like comment subscribe jesus loves you and i'll see you guys on the next one thanks for watching